Hello everyone, it's Song Jin here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to upgrade storage in this laptop that I reviewed uh, several weeks ago. There is one thing that I really want to avoid uh, during the process of upgrading storage in this laptop. That is uh, having to reinstall Windows and applications and transferring all the data again to the new one, which can be time consuming. And turns out avoiding that is incredibly easy as I will show you in this video. And also in this video, I'll give you my own recommendations as to how to choose the uh, best SSD for you. Now uh, SSD, by the way, is solid state drive. Uh, it's where your data is typically stored in your laptop like this one. So if you are looking to upgrade uh, storage in your laptop like I do, then this video is going to be very helpful for you, hopefully. With that said, um, let's begin. So first things first, there are several things you need to uh, upgrade storage in your laptop. Of course, you are going to need an SSD, uh, the ones like these ones uh, and screwdrivers that work for your uh, laptop. Typically, uh, Torx T5 uh, star-shaped driver or regular uh, cross Phillips driver will do. And you need an SSD enclosure. So when it comes to SSDs, um, these laptops uh, that have been recently released, like this one, have either one or two M.2 slots. So M.2 is a physical standard for storage that most laptops use and these M.2 storage drives have um, used NVMe as internal protocol for faster data transfers. So what you want to buy most likely is an M.2 NVMe SSD and these M.2 NVMe SSDs are uh, come in two flavors. It, they are either based on PCI Express Gen 3 or Gen 4. It may sound a little technical, but the only thing that you need to know is that PCI Express is how computer parts talk to each other or uh, to the CPU most importantly. And Gen 4 is up to two times as fast as Gen 3. So naturally, uh, SSDs that use PCI Gen 4 are up to twice as fast as Gen 3 drives. But uh, Gen 4 drives are typically more expensive and produce more heat. And some of them even require a separate cooling solution. So if you are not sure if you need that much speed, you might be better off with a Gen 3 drive and save some money. And potential saving can be up to can be around $60 or $80 depending on what kind of drive that you choose or what kind of how much capacity you choose and there are many good options that you can choose from uh, on eBay or Amazon um, as for Gen 3 the Hynix P31 is the most uh, typical go-to option it's a well-balanced, high-performing and affordable SSD that you can choose if you want to uh, go with PCIe Gen 3. It, it can do up to 3,500 megabytes of uh, read speeds. If you want uh, faster data transfer uh, with Gen 4, uh, there are several options like uh, the Hynix P41 or Crucial uh, P5 Plus that I'm uh, showing you right now or uh, Samsung 980. In this video, I'm going to use uh, Hynix P31 one terabyte drive to upgrade this laptop. And as I already have a set of screwdrivers that works for this laptop, the only thing that we need uh, now is an SSD enclosure. The reason why we need an SSD enclosure for this process is because we want to clone the old drive to uh, with the uh, new one or migrate data from this old drive that is in the laptop to the new one and to enable that data transfer process you need an ssd enclosure unless you have a secondary m.2 slot on your laptop 
that is uh, quite rare in uh, smaller laptops like this one. And as for SSD enclosure, there are uh, many uh, options. Uh, you could buy uh, something like this uh, that is a dirt chip and it's it could it should cost about twenty to thirty dollars on Amazon or any anywhere. Um, it's a USB three point two uh, ten gigabit SSD enclosure. Uh, there are many variants. It will do the job even though it's not super fast. But if you want a super fast Thunderbolt drive, you could spend a little more, uh, quite a lot more, and splurge and buy a Thunderbolt. Three or four enclosure like this one. This one should cost about ninety to one hundred dollars, but it is way faster than regular USB enclosures. So if you want a super fast SSD enclosure, super fast SSD uh, drive, after this process, then you could absolutely splurge a little bit and buy something like this. Now that we have everything we need, the first thing we want to do is to install the new drive into uh, the SSD enclosure that we have. Installing is usually very straightforward. You, you don't even have to look at the manual to understand how things are done sometimes. And some SSD enclosures are entirely toolless, meaning that you don't need any tool other than a brain. The enclosure that I have is not toolless, but it is still uh, very easy to install. And the next thing we want to do is to migrate data from the old drive to the new drive. And that is incredibly easy because many SSD manufacturers like SK Hynix, Samsung, Micron, or Crucial these companies provide very easy to use uh, software tools for data migration or cloning, uh, depending on how they call it. Uh, what they do is basically the same. So you can transfer all data, uh, data from your old drive to, the, to your new drive with ease. So that is what I'm going to use. But uh, what if your manufacturer don't provide such software? Don't worry because there is a free software that you can use uh, that is called Macrium. And speaking of Macrium, the software provided by SK Hynix is based on uh, Macrium. So using Macrium should be fine. So let's uh, go ahead and download um, software from SK Hynix uh, that I already did. Uh, it, it's right here. And then I'm going to connect the uh, SSD enclosure with the new drive inside. Uh, let's see. And then let's run, run the software. So yeah, it definitely welcomes me. You can press just next. Um, by the way, this kind of software doesn't work if you don't have uh, SSD from that manufacturer. On this uh, page configuration, you can choose your source and target. Of course, the source disk is going to be the uh, built-in SSD uh, that is on your laptop. And the target is going to be your new drive. Uh, it's already set so uh, for you. So one thing to note here is that uh, laptops that you can buy from most um, established manufacturers have a built-in recovery partition. That is something that you can use to factory factory reset your computer when things don't work properly uh, due to software bug or uh, ransom error or anything. If you want to keep that partition, you can set this configuration so, or if you want to save some space, then you can exclude the partition from this uh, cloning process and save some space. But here uh, in this laptop, I've already removed the uh, recovery partition, so I don't see it. And I'm going to press next. Here uh, it gives you uh, a summary of what will happen after the cloning process. I will have a 930 gigabyte of storage, uh, 187 of which will be uh, filled with the old data. Everything will be uh, the same as before. And let's press start and begin the process.
it will take a while depending on uh, many things as the new SSD speed, enclosure speed, and how much data you have on your old drive. Let's begin. So it's done. So as it is done, the next thing we want to do is now to turn off this computer and uh, install the new drive from this uh, enclosure to this uh, laptop. That is what we are going to do next. So before I do the screws, I want to make sure that everything works. Let's see. It puts up just fine. And let's see, everything works. Because uh, there are some applications that might notice hardware change and doesn't work properly. Let's check if everything works. But if that happens, that might uh, indicate that you should have talked to your IT first before this upgrade. But, you know, that's fine. That is not a concern for me because this is my personal computer. Yeah, everything is there. Everything is there. Chrome. Yeah, it seems like I have everything. So as you can see, now I have 930 gigabytes of storage on this computer. So I can install more things, add more of files and videos on this computer, which is what I wanted. So it's a, it's been a success. This is how you uh, upgrade your laptop by adding more storage or upgrading to a faster SSD. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.